Jamie from Upload here, and it's time to look at some of Vajo's latest virtual sorcery. Now Vajo, as you may know, is a Finnish company making some seriously impressive enterprise level VR gear, like the ultra high resolution VR2 headset. Today, it's launching real-time chroma keying and object tracking for its mixed reality device, the XR1. Chroma keying uses green screens to place virtual images in scenes. We already see it used in VR in all those Beat Saber videos we watch over lunch. But with this integration, chroma keying works in real time inside the XR1 using incredibly high quality pass through cameras. So put a green screen up and you can see both the real and virtual worlds bleeding into each other. For example, I saw the feature running with Google Earth. On one side of the room was the real world with everyone standing in it, but one twist to my head and I was suddenly towering above cities and landscapes. The integration is impressively solid. If I had my entire field of view covered by the green screen, then I fully believed I was just running a native VR app. But better yet, the chroma keying could easily pick my hands apart from the green screen, meaning I could see them in the virtual world clear as day. I couldn't actually do anything with them, mind you, but the sensation of having your whole body in VR is incredibly surreal. Meanwhile, members of the Vardro team could walk into my virtual scene to point out objects or hand me items. They even picked up the green screen and turned it into a Harry Potter style invisibility cloak, wrapping it around themselves and running around the room. The tech dealt with the changes no problem. Going one step further, I also tried it with an Enterprise VR favourite, Flight Simulation. Here I balanced a flight stick on my lap and flew around the skies. I could plainly see both my joystick and my legs, as if I was actually in the cockpit. It was an amazing look into how VR training might evolve beyond its current limitations. Elsewhere, Vajo also showed me its marker-based AR solution. Using QR-style markers that customers can print out, you can anchor virtual images in the real world. This included the Mona Lisa, a candle, and even a full-sized person. Most smartphone solutions don't require external markers, but Vajo argues that this makes AR tracking much more reliable for enterprise-level applications like surveying a 3D model of a car. Plus, there's convincing hand occlusion. Both chroma keying and AR markers are available to Vajo customers from today. But don't start digging through your wallet just yet. The XR1 costs just shy of 10,000 euro. It's made for big companies that can throw that sort of money at it, but it's still a tantalizing glimpse at some technologies that may one day make consumer VR even cooler. Make sure to subscribe and check out our other high-end VR hardware previews, and I'll see you next time.